Usually, when an album takes as long to release as Utopia, there's a very high chance that the project went through multiple iterations and creative directions. While most albums probably don't have as many distinct separate periods of development like Whole Lotta Red and Donda do, it's almost guaranteed that the finished product an artist releases is vastly different than their original plan. With how long Travis Scott took to make his new studio album Utopia, combined with him being essentially excellent exiled from society for a large amount of time, it's obvious that he clearly had an initial concept for what the album was supposed to be that was changed and morphed into what we know now. So let's get into what this original concept for Utopia sounded like, what songs may have been included on it, and why it was so heavily overhauled by Travis. I think the most likely catalyst for Utopia's shift in sound and direction was the Astrofest incident that occurred on November 5th, 2021. On this day, Travis Travis released both Escape Plan and Mafia in a two-pack of singles which really seemed like they were meant to be the lead singles for the version of Utopia he was working on at the time. I think that had the incident at Astrofest not happened, we likely would have gotten that original concept for Utopia as an album with both Mafia and Escape Plan leading the way to build hype. In fact, I would venture to say that Travis was probably planning on releasing the whole album not long after Astrofest, considering he dropped Utopia in 20. 2023, only one week after K-pop was released as the lead single. Basically, this means that the original concept for Utopia was likely 100% finished and essentially ready for release, but due to the unfortunate events that happened on November 5th, Travis had no choice but to shelf everything and step out of the public light for a few months. Following his exile, he very clearly shifted Utopia's creative direction and sound into a totally new area, considering the vast majority of songs on the release version of Utopia do not sound similar to what he was developing with Escape Plan and Mafia. Also, it's important to mention that just the Astrofest incident happening did not directly convince Travis to change his idea for the album. I think it's more of a longer chain of cause and effect, like the Astrofest incident caused Travis to recede from the public eye, thus interrupting his plan to release Utopia, and because of that, he just naturally kept on refining and changing the album, leading to its overall direct change. So now that we know Utopia most certainly had a completely different original concept, let's try to find out what songs might have been included on the album throughout 2019, 2020, and 2021 prior to the Astrofest incident. First, let's get the obvious three out of the way with Mafia, Escape Plan, and Franchise. Mafia and Escape Plan were 100% guaranteed to be on the original tracklist for Utopia, and I would say Franchise was probably included as well. I'm just a little unsure because it did drop at the end of 2020 and kind of seems like a one-off single collaboration, whereas it's blatantly obvious Escape Plan and Mafia were on Utopia. Considering Del Resto originated from late 2020, I think it's very likely that was always present on Utopia and just got carried over to the 2023 version. Then we have a song called Gold Blackberry, which is quite interesting. It was made and finished in 2019 and teased directly by Travis. It was played once in 2019 and then again in 2022, which presumably means that Travis intended for it to be included on both the original and the revised version of Utopia, although it did not make the official cut. God's Country and Heartbeat were also both likely to be included on an early version for Utopia because they were created in 2020. Side to side, side to side. They don't want to leave, it's an early night. One of those, yeah. Let's go. Different vibes, different regions. Straight up, American dream, pledge allegiance. Yeah. Oh no, don't leave her here. Find us, keep us, find us, keep us. Yeah. Like MJ said. Travis most definitely intended to include Lost Forever on his early Utopia idea, playing a much earlier version of it at the Dior X Cactus Jack show in June of 2021. 
finally, the last track we know of that I think was definitely included on Utopia early on would be what fans have dubbed Vision, which was used by Kylie Jenner as part of an Instagram promotion on June 20th, 2020. White clouds blowing out when we max Four, five, not the size, but it kick up Highlight of my life, man, attraction Squat down, work it out, make it sit up Yo world, control and it, watch what happen My world so if I had to draft up what an early tracklist for the album looked like just based on what I've covered, I think it would look like this. God's Country, Heartbeat, Gold Blackberry, Vision, Escape Plan, Mafia, Franchise, Del Resto, and Lost Forever. And while Del Resto, Lost Forever, and God's Country would all end up on an eventual 2023 version of Utopia, it's almost guaranteed that their 2020 and 2021 versions sounded much different. Of course, there was probably quite a few other tracks that Travis was working on that were likely intended for the album if the Astrofest incident had never happened and his original plan to drop Utopia in 2021 had continued. I think it was probably good for the album in the long run that he ended up being forced to spend a lot of time rethinking and retooling it because while all of these songs sound good, I think the creative vision on the 2023 Utopia is much tighter and well thought out. All these 2020 and 2021 songs are good on their own, but they don't really fit a cohesive narrative that well. Obviously, I am reaching a little bit with making like an OG track list because we don't know exactly what Travis was thinking. But I would say it's basically guaranteed that during the time Travis was exiled, he really sat down and reworked slash thought about Utopia's overall concept, which led to songs getting taken off and new songs getting made. Based on tracks like Escape Plan, Mafia, and Franchise, the original concepts for Utopia just doesn't sound as unique or out there as what we got with 2023 Utopia. Those those three are still amazing Travis songs, but for the way he was hyping Utopia, I think the extra time he took to really craft a cohesive creative direction ended up paying off. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let me know if you think the original Utopia idea would have been received better by fans than 2023 Utopia.